But he kind of feels guilty about it and gives us some armor. So the elemental male. Yep, yep. Really, elemental. Erumenturu meru. It will protect us from those spikes in the basement. We don't need it, but the defense boost is still nice. So also what we need, that harp string. So I'll go ahead and give it to this guy. He tells us his story. He said, oh, I was I was injured at a place called Grass Valley. A woman named Lisa throws me back to health. This is my song to her. My song dedicated to her. Very, very nice song, by the way, but uh, we'll, we'll hear more of it in the ending. And the funny thing is, he says there are no lyrics. You can see his mouth moving. <laughs> I'm, I, I called that out in the previous Let's Play. <laughs> but for now, we just uh, have to give this card that guy and enter what we lovingly call, well, lovingly call in the randomizer lag tower. Because the enemy spawns in here are absolutely insane. So much that the, the game will get so much slowdown. All your magic sprites will be eaten. And you just have to pray you can kill everything that lets you advance before or you get locked out. I've had that happen about once, but yeah, it's a, those stupid the chest knights are... Have, have, have iframes while the spikes are sticking out. But this place in the randomizer is not optimal simply because uh, there, there are no items in here, only people. And by the time you get here in most seeds, there will be no one to find who's necessary. More often than not, it is just a waste of time. Definitely uh, take you guys out. I'll be able to swing the recovery sword very shortly. That will keep me alive against everything for the rest of the game. Except for, except for the bosses, but uh, not a big deal. Okay, uh, that soldier right there is known as the Soul of Reality in the US version. He basically t tells you where hidden passages are. Fortunately, I played the game enough to know where I know where they all are that I make use of. I'll still get him, but uh, not until we climb the next tower. Right here, just uh, open the way forward. From here on, you can ignore the layers. These just open up shortcuts back to back to the start. In case you die in here, but no, yeah, not a big deal. There we go, 100% completion. But to try and get you guys in at the same time. Now the funny thing about these is they open up the path. But the path also remains invisible. Because the game's kind of expecting you to go back and talk to that soldier. Fortunately, you can still walk through the wall here. <laughs> nope. Run right into him. I should hit level 22 right now. Excellent. Nope. I want the Buki, not the Yorui. <laughs> and that... Uh... Uh, in the U.S. version, she is translated as Queen, but in this version, it is closer to be a favored concubine of King Magrid. From from what I read on the Soul Blazer rant in the Miser Discord, uh, one one of the runners there uploaded a sheet that compared a lot of the names between the Japanese and the U.S. and was basically saying a lot of them are very close, if not exact. The main exception being some that are mistranslated, like the Underground. Mine being the underground castle, but just call it a mistake, really. Uh, for the time, the translation of this isn't bad. You can get through the game without dealing with a lot of cryptic things. But anyway, we need to we need to talk to the quote unquote queen. Go ahead and kill all these guys ahead of time, which is quite nice. And just kind of uh, deal these layers in a counterclockwise fashion, because here we have, well, the next the next tower. Another soldier who's uh, kind of with Dr. Leo, and is basically saying, yeah, Dr. Leo, the first one was saying Dr. Leo's in here somewhere. As a matter of fact, he's right here. He's saying, okay, I need you to get up here to give me a hand because, well, frankly, we can't beat the final boss without you. 
So we need your help. And this is just a crystal fairy that makes it easier to get back downstairs. Let's go ahead and uh, grab the soul of reality really quick. So now we can see those hidden passages, and there are some in the final area, so oh, it's, it's not a total loss. Go ahead and talk to you. Tell her she's pretty. She does the Ojo laugh and gives us an item. This will let us get into the final tower. The VIP card. All right, good old power bracelet. All right, the way to do this one is we want to start in this top left corner. Take a hit right as we steal the lair. Pointless soldier. And good old chest knights. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, Jijo. Not Shijo, I, I missed the... So the I, I call her the soul maid because in the randomizer, she is the first one to give me all three soul items. But she gives you an herb in vanilla here. You can, as you can see, yeah, there's some hidden stairs right over there. But, of course, you can climb even if you don't have the soul of reality. Ow, ow. 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 <laughs> yeah, in the in the randomizer, those statues can be replaced by random enemies. So, it makes this a much less dangerous. I'll take that, only two. Oh, getting more chest knights guys hurt. I will probably finish the area at level 22. I don't expect it at 23. I might, but not likely. Okay, so this guy we call Bob the Builder in the randomizer because lo and behold, he restores the whole castle. <laughs> He's also necessary for person go mode. And restoring him also brings in the last available emblem, so we'll pick that up in town when we're done here. And of course, you can see, yep, we got we got mimics, but uh, they're not too bad. They don't show up in layers, unlike in the randomizer. So this, well, 80 gems, 80 gems. For whatever reason, they just just decided that. For, for the most part, we are not going to see any more necessary people, except for. Except for after clearing the boss, so all in all, we are effectively done with the game. Except for the final bosses, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Again, we want we want full completion. And hey, there there was a missing building. I honestly don't remember what that soldier says in there. That is that one is incredibly pointless. But up here we have a few more layers and a few more treasures. Now in the randomizer, this place is actually quite good for uh, necessary items. It, more often than not, you'll get something. I don't see it become a bust very often at all. That soldier there, he says, oh, you scared me, you almost knocked me into the moat. Sadly, we cannot actually knock him into the moat. He's just the kind of one you want to beat up. Other than that, uh, yeah, just that should be the final person who is not necessary. So, 100 gems, a couple mimics. I'll gladly take these gems. Yeah, you can tell which ones are the mimics because they spawn in after the others. And hey, an herb. Oh, once again, mimic. And his final set of, of enemies is, well, kind of mazy, but uh, not really. That enemy down there is just another mimic. I'm not even going to kill it, because this is the final spot. And I'm, I'm going to continue on in here, because there are two items we can get back in town after this cutscene. So we talked to Dr. Leo. He says, okay, we need to go kill Death Tall. I honestly don't remember what 
I need to see what his name is in the here in the Japanese version, but Death Hall's the US name. In fact it might even just be Satan. Doku! And hey, the queen is uh, basically said I'm not gonna let you do that. She is the one behind it all. She was the one who basically led King Magrid into committing his great evil. So she's the main she's the real main villain on the human side. And hey, she has a she has Lisa as a hostage. Yeah, we haven't seen her for quite a while. We didn't even talk to her. Wow, that that holy cow, that that is slow. You know, there's a lot more text in uh, uh in there than in the U.S. version. But uh, yep, uh, Doctor Leo. Lisa, forgive me. He blows himself off to take them down. So, hey! Oh, well, Dr. Leo saved the world. We, we're done here, right? No, nope, we still have to We still have to go and kill the big evil. But uh, we're going we're gonna to take a detour. Oh, run back into town. There are actually two items we can get. One I mentioned is the final emblem. Fairly well hidden because you have to know you can walk behind these columns. Emblem H. And what about where the queen was? Well, that is a very, very nice secret. That is the uh, Ushimi no oh, oh, Urewa. The super bracelet in the US version. It combines the power and shield bracelet. Double defense, double power. Absolutely glamorous is probably the best way to put it. But since we have all the emblems, Let's make our final jump back to World 2. And get both the items that we're waiting for us here. So with this, we get we got the item. So the uh, Maho, no, oh, uh, the uh, Minamoto, so basically the magic bell. This bird right here, try to talk to it, it flies away. Talk to the stump and say, oh, that bird's shy. Just to sneak up on him and scare him, he'll drop the item. Approach from behind. And with that, the Red Hot Mirror is translated in the US version. So the uh, Shakune e Suno o Kagami. But where we want the Super Racelet. All right, quick jump back to World 6. So we still have one more trip back to World 4. We just need the last Red Hot item. Because it's the king who will let us get the final spell that lets us beat the, beat the, beat the final boss. We're not quite there yet. But with the, with, this, with the recovery sword, the good armor, and the super bracelet, this boss is going to be less of a pain than it would otherwise be. So when Dr. Leo... Before Dr. Leo died, he gave us the key to this airship. We suddenly know how to fly it. So we just take off to the skies. and re-equip the super race. This guy we call Storm Eagle. It's, uh, so, so, uh, Hiko Osen no o Deki? Basically, we want, we want him to do this. Because that makes him far more vulnerable and we can dish out a lot of extra damage. Excellent. Normally he'll try to swoop down, but that was, that was, that was glorious. That was, that was a two cycle. Otherwise, he, he tries to swoop down and that's when you may think you have to hit him, but nope, that's the speed runway. And there's King Magrid. So, Magrido... Oh. <laughs> so, he basically says, I screwed up royally, didn't I? <laughs> Answer is yes, you did. I just spent the entire game fixing your mistake because you wanted to get into somebody 80s pants. However, we come here, talk to Lisa. She says, thank you for staying with me. Even though I don't know who you are, I suddenly love you. I just don't know what to say, but please leave all my back is turned, otherwise my heart's gonna be broken. But uh, with that, we are basically have a straight shot to the end of the game. There's a little bit left to do, one more area. And it's not gonna be a problem at all. We just have to talk to Magrid to get the final stone. Should be the black one.
Yep. Burakustone. But we just uh, don't need to equip them. We have the super bracelet. All that's left to do is go kill the final boss in what's called the World of Evil in the US version. Let's see what it is in the in this one. Let's go!